Explosive allegations waged against Washington Commander's owner Dan Snyder and the NFL on Capitol Hill. Former team employees making multiple allegations of sexual harassment. One of them, Tiffany Johnston, making a new claim against Snyder. I learned that placing me strategically by the owner at a work dinner after this networking event was not for me to discuss business, but to allow him, Dan Snyder, to place his hand on my thigh under the table. And she says he tried to give her a ride to her car in his limousine, but she refused. I learned that the only reason Dan Snyder removed his hand from my back and stopped pushing me towards his limo was because his attorney intervened and said, Dan, Dan, this is a bad idea. Five women and one man spoke at an oversight committee roundtable, which is investigating what it calls rampant workplace misconduct involving the former Washington football team over the course of two decades and the NFL's handling of the allegations. It spanned the entire organization. And that rot started at the top with team owner Daniel Snyder. And it trickled down. The former employees and many on the committee are pushing for the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell to release findings of an investigation into the toxic culture within the commander's upper management. Melanie Coburn alleges prostitutes were invited to Snyder's home in Colorado after a night of drinking. The culture and environment in those offices was deplorable like a frat run party run by a billionaire who knew no boundaries. Snyder issued a statement vehemently denying the allegations. While past conduct at the team was unacceptable, the allegations leveled against me personally in today's roundtable, many of which are well over 13 years old, are outright lies. I unequivocally deny having participated in any such conduct at any time and with respect to any person. Snyder also said the team has made positive personnel and culture changes over the last 18 months months. Now, some Republican members of the committee argued that workplace harassment allegations should be handled by HR departments and courts, not Congress. They were trying to brush it under the rug that it wasn't a big deal, it's not a big issue, but it actually is and it affects so many people across the country and if we can't come to our government for help when we need things to be regulated, then what are we supposed to do? The women say it's painful to tell their stories over and over, but they believe if the findings of the investigation are released, that transparency will lead to accountability. Darcy Spencer, News 4.